I'm here today with Andrew Mitchell, Investment Companies Analyst here at Edison. Andrew, welcome. Could you start by explaining what exposure BlackRock Hedge Selector gives investors? Yes, the, the fund was originally set up to potentially give people exposure to a number of different BlackRock funds, but at the moment it just has one class of share which gives exposure to the UK Emerging Companies Hedge Fund. Um, now that, that fund is uh, aiming to provide returns by investing in the UK small and mid-cap sector, um, but it's a hedge fund, so it's taking long and short positions. Um, so it's giving you a, a modified exposure to that sector. Uh, and we, if we look back to when uh, BlackRock Hedge Selector was launched, um, it's had a net long position of 35%. So it, it's, it's obviously less directly linked um, to, to the overall index performance than, than if it were a straight long only fund. Who manages the UK Emerging Companies Hedge Fund? The, the fund is managed by Richard Plackett, Ralph Cox and Daniel Whitestone uh, is the analyst on the fund and they can draw on the expertise of the broader BlackRock uh, small and mid-cap team and then they've got the resources, broader resources of BlackRock uh, to draw on as well. It's worth noting as we're talking about the managers to say that uh, Richard Plackett is going to be taking uh, a six-month sabbatical from April this year. We'll be back on the on the job in October. And how do the managers select their long and short positions? Well, they, they use a fundamental research process. So they're looking at the strength of cash flows and balance sheet of companies. And they have 700 meetings a year, uh, which they use to gauge the strengths of the management. So they're looking for management that obviously know about the business, but also have been through a number of business cycles who and therefore know how to deal with that. And when you look at the short positions, it's really a reverse of the um, things they look for in, in businesses that are attractive. They're looking for companies that may have weaknesses, particularly in terms of the, the balance sheet and cash flow. And uh, they report they've had some good successes in identifying companies that may be vulnerable using that. Why might investors find the fund attractive? I think it's interesting uh, for people to look at because it's not giving them a straight exposure to rises in the small cap sector because the, the managers can take views on whether things are going to go, both go up or, or down and they've got a lot of experience in the small mid cap area uh, and when they're meeting companies obviously they, they will find situations where they think companies look vulnerable and the share prices could fall so they can actually invest to exploit that opportunity and therefore you get a modified exposure to the, the smaller companies sector uh, and if you look back the the correlation with the the overall market is um, is not particularly strong so if you look at the 2008 global financial crisis period for example the fund was actually up by 19 percent whereas the small cap index was down by nearly 50 percent so uh, that was particularly good comparative year and subsequently the fund uh, lagged the pickup in the market after the crisis. But nevertheless, um, you know, thinking of now, if, if you're an investor, um, you want to have exposure to the small cap sector, but um, you're not sure perhaps when you might want to withdraw your cash. Um, having something which is less closely linked with the market uh, could be an attractive option. Andrew, thank you very much for joining us today. If you'd like any more information, please visit the Edison website.